Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I uh, got my next job here that I'm going to do. I uh, thought I would just go ahead and uh, put this on a standalone video and show you. But what I've got is a uh, this is a piece of shafting that I ordered. I've got a uh, just a simple shaft to make for a customer. They called me with the dimensions they needed, and uh, this is a piece of two and three sixteenths, ten eighteen cold rolled. They need some keyways milled on each end. Uh, very simple, easy job to do. I didn't have any of this uh, this size in stock, so I actually called and ordered some from. I uh, uh, usually order a lot of my stuff from Alro Metals, so I called and uh, told them what I needed, and they actually had a drop on the uh, on the shelf out there, so I got a little bit of a discount because I bought the drop. So uh, I got a cut at 32 inches long, and I got to mill a couple of keyways, uh, six inches on each end, and that should be a uh, 5 h key, uh, 5 h keyway. So that's what we're going to do tonight. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open and uh, cut the link down the do-all saw. And then we'll come down here to the, uh, the do-all milling machine and we'll mill some uh, keyways in it. And uh, perfect timing. I just got my uh, rods that uh, Tom Lipton sent me from a cool mist. I've got one mounted down there on there now. And uh, we'll put that to use also. So, uh, all right, let me go ahead and get this thing cut open and uh, and uh, get started on it. All right, I've got her set up on the mill and I'm getting ready to uh, find center of the shaft. And I wanted to show you my uh, setup real quick. I'm clamping it straight down to the table in the groove there. And I'm using my good old stuff here, you know, my uh, step blocks, my 5 8 studs, and my old strap clamps. And just pulling it straight on down to the uh, to the slot in the table. So first thing we're going to do is get it, we're going to find center and uh, then I'll set up my cutter and set up the cool mist. I'm using a half inch edge finder. you can see this good all right there's the edge and uh, first thing I'm gonna do you know you can always just add it up if you want sometimes I'm in a hurry so I just uh, I know I'm going to move it over 250. All right, so there's 250, and what I'll do is I'll just reset my dial to zero, and that's a two and three sixteenth shaft. So you want to take half of it. So that should be one inch ninety three thousandths. There's ninety one two three. All right, so that's the center. Alright, let me uh, let me get my cutter set up and the uh, we'll get the cool mess set up. Alright guys, I'm set up and I'm getting ready to uh, start cutting. I just wanted to uh, show you, here's that, that rod that uh, Tom Lipton made for me and give me. Does a nice job holding the uh, cool mess stem. And I wanted to point this out too. This is one of those little uh, quick clamp stops for the, uh, for the quill that my buddy Gil gave me. He brought this to me the other day. He bought it for me and, and gave it to me. I've never had one of those, so that's uh, that's a nice thing to have. And uh, thank you, Gil, for that. I appreciate it. So let's go ahead and, and uh, get set up. And I'm going to set it on the shelf right back here. And we'll touch off and get going. Uh, I'm milling half-inch keys. I checked my chart. I was thinking five-eighths, but it's actually uh, half-inch keyways that goes on this shaft here. Get my air going. Now I just got the uh, the link set with a with a sharpie. Nothing critical on that. Just marked them six inches. I'm just going to touch off like that. Lock my quill. 
and then just bring the table up till I find my full radius. Alright, that looks about like it. Alright, and I feel just a little tiny edge on each side, so that's usually how I do that there. I'm going to bring it up a quarter inch. And I usually go a few thousandths past just to give it a little bit of clearance. I'm about 254. Alright, should be good to go. Really just I want to run enough air there that it tries to clear the chip for me. Alright, everything seems to be good. That looks good. Uh, I'll do a quick measurement here in a minute and uh, make sure I'm the proper depth. And uh, other than that, we'll flip it around and do the other side. Zero. Right, Two fifty four.
both sides are milled. I'll do another check on this side and make sure it's the depth, but I'm sure it will be. And uh, i got to do a little deburring and this job will be done. Alright guys, that's about it for this job. I got her done. I checked the depth on both. And uh, my calipers are showing 255 deep, which is perfect. That'll work. And uh, I'm going to get this road up, get the customer called, and they'll be happy to get it. They, uh, they need it for tomorrow, so i got to set it out for them, and they're going to come by and pick it up in the morning. So uh, that's uh, that's one way to mill a uh, keyway on the on the milling machine is to uh, just take your your stock, clamp it straight down in the slot, put you a couple clamps on it, and do your milling. Uh, it always works out really good. So, all right, another job done. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. All right.